The first exercise we're going to do is the Jefferson curl. So you're going to want to stand uh, maybe a couple of foot distances away from the wall to begin. Legs are going to remain straight. You're going to tuck the chin to all the way to the chest. And then you're going to roll down, keeping the legs straight, going as deep as you can, and then rolling back up. The aim is to not let the head touch the wall. If I'm successful, I'm going to take a little step in. I'm going to roll, touch, roll back up without my head touching the wall. I want to get as close to the wall as I can uh, without my head hitting the wall, okay? So now we're going to work on a single arm bridge rotation. I want to only place this part of my hand on the wall. If I put my hand flat, I'm not going to turn very nicely. So I only want to be on this part of the, of the hand. I keep a slight bend in the elbow, and I'm going to place the hand sort of in line with the same leg. Okay. From here, I'm going to take a back step. I'm going to keep looking at my hand and I'm going to spin and rotate. So I go here until I reach this point. From here, the same leg that back stepped is now going to step under so that I return in the same position that I started. So I'm going to go here, back step, rotate looking at the hand. Step to return. <laughs> okay, the next exercise is the one I call the helix. So we're going to start with our shoulder, like a shoulder on the wall, and I'm going to be standing a little bit back from the wall. Okay, both, both hands are on. I'm going to pivot my feet so that they're both facing in the same direction. And I'm going to bring my bottom hand through the gap and my top hand remains touching the wall so that I can rotate over and get both of my shoulders on the wall. I want to keep my front foot flat. I'm bending this back knee. And then I'm going to return and transition to the other side. Okay, the next movement is going to be the shoulder roll. So again, I'm going to lean one shoulder on the wall and I'm going to take my head through the gap of the other arm. Take my head as low as my knees and then bring my head out through the gap on the other side. Now I should end up on the other shoulder. I'm going to return, take my head through the gap my head as low as my knees. And my head pops out the other side. Okay, so now we're going to put both the helix and the shoulder roll together. You're going to start with the helix. Once you complete the helix, we're going to initiate a shoulder roll, okay? So I start here, and I go into my helix. I have both shoulders on the wall. Keeping both shoulders on the wall, I go into the shoulder roll. Once I get here, I'm going to complete the helix, and then I return, 
and then I'm going to initiate on the other side. So I go here with on the other side. I'm going to do my shoulder roll. Come out. Helix on the other side. I come back to the start before I initiate the next rep. We're going to move into the floor work. So we're going to start off with the pendulum. So what we're going to do is laying them flat on our back with our arms out to the side. Our knees are bent, feet are on the floor. Okay. I'm going to start by dropping one of the knees to the floor and then moving the outside leg around, straightening the leg to come up to touch the hand. I keep this foot on the floor the whole time. I go around the leg that's bent until I bend and switch to the other side. And I'm just gonna go in this nice smooth movement, nice smooth pattern. Keeping the feet in contact with the floor the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so this time we're going to come over onto our stomach. My hands are out nice and wide. The left foot this time is going to, going to come to touch the right hand. I will return. Right hand is going to come to touch, sorry, right foot is going to come to touch the left hand. And I'm going to alternate over like this. We're going to use the toes to lift up and get some weight onto the shoulder. I'm creating a little bit of space here so that I can circle my arm through all the way until I can shift onto the other shoulder and circle the arm through. So now we're going to use the shoulder roll to initiate the helix. So I'm going to come up onto the shoulder to bring the hand through. And as I do that, the top hand is going to go around. The top leg is going to bend so that I can end up in my helix. I come back, come back up onto the shoulder to give space. Transition across to the other shoulder. Complete the helix on the other side. Return. Shoulder to the heels. Okay, we're going to start in the L seat here. We're going to roll until the feet touch the uh, floor behind us, and then we're going to roll back. Okay, tuck the chin to the chest. Then we're going to reach forward, roll. Touch, return, stretch. Okay, so now we're going to put a couple of things together, just a nice simple one to start with. Okay? How we're going to do it is we're going to initiate it with this roll. So I'm going to initiate the roll until my feet touch the ground. Once I'm here, I'm going to take a big step out to the side so that I can get my weight on the shoulder. That's going to allow me to come into this position where I initiate the helix. Okay? Once I initiate to the helix, I'm going to undo my legs so that I start in the position again on the other side. I'm going to roll, take a big step to the other side, the weight is on my shoulder. 
Transition to the other shoulder. Come to the heels on the other side. Once I get here, I'm going to undo my legs and I'm ready to go again. So another combination that we can do is using the helix and the shoulder roll together. The shoulder roll on the ground is a little bit different than it is on the wall because on the wall your feet are going to be stationary and your upper body is going to be moving but on the ground your feet are the thing that is going to be moving okay so just be mindful of that so we can start the same way by initiating with the roll i take my step out to the side and i'm going to initiate the heel once I hit the helix, I'm going to initiate my roll. Until I come out on the other side. I'm going to return my arm so that I can go through the helix. I'm going to undo the leg the same way we did before to end up in my starting position. I can hit a roll. Step to the other side. Transition the shoulder, opens my hips. Hit my roll, helix on the other side, undo the legs, and I'm ready to start again. Okay, another way that we can initiate to get on the shoulder is by using the legs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift the hips up, we're gonna turn onto the shoulder, and we're gonna take the leg through and underneath so that I end up with my weight on my shoulder. I'm gonna return, hip up, my hips are up, keep the weight up with the shoulders, transition to the other shoulder, big step. Return, step. Okay, so now we're going to incorporate this position and we can alternate between the roll or the uh, stepping underneath to initiate getting up onto our shoulder to uh, combine the movement. So for example, I'm here on my back. I could initiate by doing the roll, but this time I want to initiate by taking my back step. From here, I have space to complete my arm circle. I'm throwing the other side into my heels. I'm going to initiate my shoulder roll here. And I can return onto my back by stepping back through. I can step again. Initiate the helix. Initiate a roll. From here, I can return by stepping back through. 